Punk. Thank you for stopping by, checking out my YouTube page, checking out my YouTube channel. Uh, if you're watching this video, you're watching it because you're probably having issues back here at 10. Sorry if I seem a little tired. To be honest with you, I was on, uh, in contact with technical support last night from about 7 o'clock at night to maybe 5, 6 o'clock in the morning this morning. So, head's pounding. I feel like I kind of have a hangover. Slamming some monsters, but I wanted to just kind of put this video out there because I thought it was um, content that uh, could help a lot of different people. So, I'm not bashing accurate, but I've been a long time user since 7, 8, 9, now 10. All those other versions of softwares, that's a different video in itself. This video is just on Accurate 10. So if you've been having issues with Accurate 10, intermittent issues, it just seems like lately that everyone's been posting things. And I know I was personally having all kinds of problems, just riddled with just little glitches and this and that. Um, one thing I have to say is that it doesn't matter how expensive your equipment is, right? You can have the bat, the, the best of the best um DTG printers or DTF printers, if your RIP software is riddled with problems, that's it. I mean, if it's glitching and it's causing issues with your prints, it doesn't matter how good your printer is. It's the software itself that's controlling how that printer prints. Um, if, if it's, you know, just not working, it's crashing, whatever it may be, you know, that is <laughs> the bottleneck, um, you know, that can make or break your company. So to be honest with you, I think I'm done with Accurate. All right, so here's the problem. So here's the latest problem that I was having on Accurate 10. White. So I wasn't able to print white. So if I was to write the word Rick and I, and I typed it on white and I hit file print, it wouldn't print. If I typed it on black, guess what? The backing was completely white, no problem at all. If I was to do a print head check, all the colors printed perfect, including the white in the background. Anything white on an image, it wasn't printing. It only print white in the background. I posted it on Facebook on some DTF groups, and everyone was, you know, kind of coming back. Some people were saying, hey, I'm having the same exact problem. Some people suggested that I change white to an off-white, uh, to a slight gray tint, all these different other things. And, you know, I was like, you know what, the thing is that at first I thought it was the extra, the artwork file itself. Um, but then I opened like an, uh, a Mexican flag, uh, an American flag, things that I printed in the past. When I printed it, the white didn't print. So I know that that wasn't the issue because I know that I've previously printed that artwork before in the past without a problem at all. So I reached out to support. So because of YouTube, I was able to make some connections. Um, they logged into my computer, remote access then. Uh, they were great. I'm sorry, I can't say that as far as extremely, extremely knowledgeable. Um, there's three Windows updates that recently happened. They're a C++ update. I'll post it in the description below exactly what those are. I don't honestly know what those Windows updates are for. I have to Google it. I haven't done that in the past. I haven't done that, I'm sorry, prior, prior to doing this video. Because I kind of just wanted to get this video out there, but I, I'll Google it. So in the description, I'll put exactly what they are. Um, and, and it's those last three C++ updates, whatever they do for Windows, is actually glitching Accurate 10. So what they did is they uninstalled those and they installed a previous version of those C++'s. Like, I don't know what they are. I, mean, I just know they're C++. Um, and then they... Uh, Uninstalled those accurate, restarted my computer, reinstalled accurate, and it didn't fix it. So I was kind of off hands at that point. I was just watching them remote access in. So do I think that you could fix that? Yes. Well, not yes, maybe. Maybe if you did have the, I can see again, I don't know the previous version they're installing, if it was the previous version that I had at the time that the software was working fine. So you'd have to go to your Windows update, Look at your history, find out what version you had prior to that last update so you know it, uninstall that, reinstall it, uninstall accurate. See, okay, now here's the problem with uninstall programs. A lot of programs, the uninstall file is real sloppy. The reason it's real sloppy is because the actual directory, so when you go to install it, it says C colon forward slash accurate, let's just say, okay? And then you go to uninstall it. And you, and you restart the computer and you think, okay, anything that was that this software installed, I chose uninstall, so it's no longer on my computer. Wrong. 
well, I'd say wrong for most programs. Go to that directory and I guarantee you that there's still folders, there's still some files still there. So the problem with that is that when you go to reinstall it, it recognizes some of those files and it doesn't actually like do a fresh install. It says, oh, I already see it saying to do this and it just follow along what was previously done. So those files could have been corrupted, altered, or changed by those Windows updates. So what you have to do, you have to go to that directory, you delete directory, delete any files that have to do with that software, and then you have to go to your registry. So what is your Windows registry? The Windows registry is actually like a, a script program that's running in the background your operating system that's telling what's Windows required files. Like when you open this program, this file has to open. That's kind of what it's doing. It's calling out to those files. You know, what has to run in the background, those kind of things. So if you're going to reg edit and you were to um, do a search for it, you're going to find all kinds of registry entries that were left behind by that, by that software. So again, you're not doing a fresh install. So it's a real, the uninstall file on Accurate is it's horrible. It just leaves reminiscences all over the place. So this is why I'm saying it's not like a full, you know, it's not doing, um, a good clean uninstall so when you're doing a reinstall it's not like a fresh install you know so I can maybe do a video doing that but that's a different video in itself so so if you have accurate 10 you don't have any problems with it you're more than likely not on the internet with that computer or you don't have Windows updates uh, set for it to automatic download and update so if you don't have any accurate problems <laughs> God bless you. You're lucky, lucky, lucky. So if you if you don't disable your antivirus, I'm not saying I'm, I'm sorry, not disable your antivirus. Disable auto Windows update, at least for now. You know, um, that's the problem. You know, and how long is it going to take them to fix this issue? I don't know. I don't know at all. So am I up and running? No. Um, you know, like I said, they. Uh, I had them, they uninstalled the software, reinstalled the software, uninstalled that the Windows update, installed, rolled, installed the rolled back version. I saw the same exact problem. So what did they do? They installed Accurate 9, a supposed non-pirated version. So I did have a legit dongle cable for, the, for 9, but no matter where, and I'm not mentioning names, <laughs> because... I had bought legit nine version from someone before and it was pirated. And what I mean by pirated is uh, it had viruses in it. You couldn't do the install with your antivirus enabled at all. So they put a, a, ca a copy of Accurate 9 on my computer that guess what? It didn't do that. So it's probably a rare find of actually Accurate 9 that's not floating around the internet for free. That's loaded with viruses that people are going to try to remote action to your computer. That's a different video in itself. Um, and they printed. And my printer worked fine. So the, ultimately I paid how much for the, yeah, you know, for Acrib 9 to, to, it's kind of funny because I actually like Acrib 9 better than 10. Why do I like Acrib 9 better than 10? Well, I like Acrib 9 better than 10 because you can adjust the colors a lot higher. On, on all the colors, you can go up to 200%. And you're saying like, oh, Rick, why would you do that? It's ridiculous. That's ridiculous for DTF. That's not ridiculous for DTG. People would see my shirts and they would say, how do you get the colors to pop? How does it look like that? How are you doing that? Printing gold, printing metallic, printing flakes, you know, and it's because I was doing 200% white behind the image and the color popped on a black shirt. People didn't understand like, how does it look so bright? That's why. Or if I was painting, a, I was printing a candy color, like from a candy bike or a car and you know and you want it to look like a picture on a shirt you know i can play with those settings in the colors and make it pop to look like that you know um so i liked that the other thing is that um sometimes certain artwork what people don't realize is that you know hey can you print this put this on a shirt no problem but depending on the color itself it may it may kind of like blend right so, you know, I want a white border around it. And I know you can go and Photoshop, underline, blah, blah, blah. I'm, I'm, I'm very capable of using Photoshop, but it was really easy to do it and accurate. That uh, you could actually adjust the, um, you could adjust like the auto crop feature, right? Where everyone probably puts 333. Three, three. Well, you could put a different number and rather than cropping it so it doesn't have a lip, you can intentionally leave one. So I would, 
I'd crop the color a little bit smaller than the white and I would have maybe a quarter inch, you know, or less depending on what it is, white border. And sometimes that, you know, that would make it pop and, and I don't have to open Photoshop. I can do anything like that. I can do it directly and accurate. So that was really cool. And the other thing is it had, it has a feature where you can do like a super white because like when you're, when you're printing white on white, let's just say. So, um, so it's a white, it's a white background it's black and then it has like a little white spot on it or something you know what i mean so ra rather than telling it like my beauty mark let's just say i wanted this white you know rather than rather than uh it just using that white as the as the base white behind it and not cover over the top of it like a super white would do the base and then put white on top of it again so it'd make that like a more vibrant white you know and kind of make it a layered uh white so that white would stand out brighter and you know, there'd be certain pieces of artwork that that would make sense. Uh, for instance, like a memorial shirt that has clouds in it. Um, that super bright white option, like it would make colors pop a little bit different. It, it would make them look more three-dimensional. You know, so I liked that feature. You know, so there was just different features. So I don't think that Accurate 10 was like an answer to all our problems. Like I went on YouTube and I kind of shot my mouth off about uh, Accurate you know, uh, being affected with viruses, and I went on Facebook and all these groups, and I blasted all over uh, Facebook um, how people were actually trying to remote access to my computer, proof from my firewall, all this kinds of information, and then I hunted down and found out like who Acura actually was made by, contacted them and said, well, how do you like? Is this software legit? And you know, how do you actually become a dealer? Like do you still sell this software because they didn't even have a download option so you know they basically told me like i can't remember buy like 30 copies or 40 copies or whatever and pay them an additional fee and, and they'll brand it for you so you know it'll say whatever your company is uh, uh you know accurate you know um and that's what these guys are doing so it's when you're buying accurate 10 it doesn't matter if you're buying it from joe or mike and i'm, I'm just saying random names because i don't want to be mentioning people's names um, it doesn't matter. All they did is they, they agreed to purchase a certain amount of software, a certain amount of them. Um, and then they're up in the price, obviously. And if they paid an additional fee, which most of them did, the executable file now on the little icon in the upper top left hand corner, it says their name, which is really, really easy to change actually. Um, but anyways, so that's what they're doing. That's it. Um, Am I hating on them that they, you know, bought, they're making money on reselling the software? No, that's what you're in business to do, right? They spent $30,000 um, and they sat on that software and they tried to sell it. They need to make the money. They need to pay the bills. They need to buy it for a family just like anybody else, you know? So not hating that at all. But what I am saying is that even though I like Acura because it's so easy to use, um, it's it's hindering it's it's causing too many havocs in my business printing so i'd rather you know use a different software um go through the headache of relearning software maybe uh so the problem is that some of these other softwares that um my wife's been helping me maybe she's not as technical with the computer and i'm not using that as an excuse but just like you know, so I'm stuck the one using the computer. I would like the Accurate idea because it's really easy to use. But there's features that Accurate doesn't have that I wish they did, like um, where you could gang images, stuff like that. You know, the other off softwares do. So don't mean to start rambling, but let's get to the point. If you have Accurate 10 and you have no issues, great. Disable your Windows update. If you have intermittent issues starting with Acura 10 unless you're cleaning your registry and you know smoking every reminiscence of that software and then rolling back the last one those updates you're probably SOL until they until they come up with a software patch that's going to uh, be com compliant compatible but um like I said that's what they do <laughs> couldn't get it to work so Hate to be the bearer of bad news, but uh, I think Acura of 10 has got the wah, 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 fail option. That's it.
That's Rick's two cents. <laughs> I'm bailing an accurate 10. So, post the comments. Tell me what you think. Are you experiencing the same things? What kind of glitches are you experiencing? Maybe the software manufacturers can look at this video then and collectively gather all the information that all these glitches that we're experiencing from these Windows updates. You know, and hopefully, hopefully that you know, um, you know, you they'll fix it within a certain within a timely matter. Because I'm already seeing on Facebook uh, the last couple of days um, people posting. Hey, I bought uh, Accurip 10 uh, 10.03 from so and so. Uh, I purchased it for this, and I'm willing to sell it for this. And that's because they're jumping to Catlink or they're jumping to somebody else. Now, I didn't mention that name in particular reason. This is not a plug for them. I just so, but yeah. So, anyways, that's my two cents. I'm I'm just done. I don't know what you guys are using. So here. If you guys are using a RIP software other than AccuRIP, let me know what it is. If you're a software manufacturer, a distributor, you know, you think that yours is way better than AccuRIP and, you know, blase, blase, why? Hey, you want to give me a, a, a version to try? Let's do this. Uh, I'm just, I, I can't keep doing this. Like this is, you know, this uh, printing shirts is a good side gig for me. And, um. My software not working makes my printer worthless. You know, and here I am wanting to upgrade to a faster, better printer. For what? So that I have a software that would do the same? <laughs> I have to print twice as many shirts when I buy a printer that much more expensive. So, thanks for watching. God bless. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news. Hopefully soon they have an update. But like I said, let's collaborate together. Let's put all your problems in the description. Let's try to help each other. You know, there's probably some problems that are not software issues, user error issues, or just maybe setting issues that somebody else can help. But then there's going to be issues that it's beyond your control at this point that uh, you can't fix.